This is V from a Canadian RVer. What I'm doing in this video is, well, it's come time to change the water filter in my um, 22.5 residential fridge, and I've purchased a new Frigid Air Pure Source Ultra Filter. But uh, when I took the old one out, it came out just fine. But now what's happening is this new one is not locking into place. So what I plan to do is uh, start taking it apart and just see what's wrong and that uh, will take you along for the learning curve. So here's where the filter goes in this corner right here and here's the problem. When the filter, this new filter goes in and it's true frigid air, you can see when, when I push it in it's supposed to clip in there and lock. but it's not locking in place. So what I'm gonna do is uh, turn off the water outside. We're gonna remove all the plastic pieces around it, and we're gonna see what's wrong with way down in there. That seems to be what the problem is, and uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So what I've done right now is I've put a light in here. I've turned the fridge off so we don't build up too much moisture. So here we go. We're going to start taking the uh, sides off. And off the cowling and the side panel. And now you can see exactly where the teeth come into the connection point right there. So I'm going to just try the uh, filter and just see how it connects right there. I've turned the water off now so there's no problem with that but I'll still put a towel down here just to pick up any of the water. So we're just going to do a, a test, a mock-up test to see how it connects and well that's where it goes in right there. still will not bite it so there's still a problem with those teeth right in there so what I've done here right now is I've sped up the video just a little bit and also you'll see where I take all the screws out but I found that by leaving one screw in and uh, you'll see it right here I'll put it back in uh, in a minute as I get the last one out here so we'll keep watching this but now when I tried to take the pipes off I, I found it would be a little better if I just put one screw back and try to support it while I pulled the pipes out so you might want to try the same thing just by putting a screw back and now the pipes will come out a lot easier so what you do to get the pipes out you just push up on those little uh, blue rings and pull straight down I was using a screwdriver just to push up on the ring so that's how you would get the pipes out to, to release just push up on the blue rings and pull the, the plastic pipe down So here's the whole piece that I've taken off and what I found is this part right in here was was not sitting properly why because there's four little tabs right here here and on the bottom part right there and there this piece this whole piece here was kind of 
not sitting correctly and the tabs were not sitting in their proper places. So what I did is I just uh, pressed it back on and you can see where it's clicked into the four little tabs. So if your filter won't reset, uh, I think that could be the problem. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on right there, my old standby, and you can see the two springs right in here that they have to be sitting properly. Now, on the front part, since I've connected or, or uh, connected the tabs, this seems to be a lot stiffer that won't move that easy in here. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to put this back and um, I'm going to put some silicone on that too so that these tabs will never move again. And let's just see what happens. I'll put it back and uh, we'll uh, take you uh, back into the fridge. All right, so what I've done is right in the corners here, right there on that tip, on these little four clips, I've put some silicone on it. And now this little arm will have a harder time getting clipped out again. If, if and, and what happens, I can see by when you're taking the filter and you're pushing it in for those teeth to lock, if the back part, if this part here is not tight on those clips, and if this moves back, well, there's no way that this is going to hold the filter in place when you push it in for it to lock. So let's give it a try right now. We're going to put it back and uh, see if we can uh, get the filter to work. So let's go back into the fridge. What I'm going to do just to uh, save the uh, compressor from running all the time, and I'm just going to turn my fridge off again. And of course, the lights will go off inside too. So there it is. Fridge is off. So let's go back inside now and uh, set up and start putting the, uh, the attachment back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, the water connections on because they're easier to do this way. So we're going to push that pipe all the way back up. And the other side. There we go. Pipes are back on. Slide that back under where it's supposed to go. So there we go, the, uh, the attachment is back on. So now we're going to put the cowling back on. Wait a sec, we might try our Phillips here. Yeah, Phillips will work.
So the last thing we'll do is we'll, we'll put the, uh, but let's just try the filter now. So we line it up. And there it is. It sits beautifully in there, locked in place. So that's all it was. It was those little clips in the back. And we'll put our side panel back on. And there we go. Filters in. We'll remove everything. We'll turn the fridge back on. And we'll see what our water is coming out from the uh, water dispenser. All right, I've turned the water back on. Now let's turn the fridge back on. There we go, fridge is back on. The uh, setting is set to water. So let me get a, a big bucket because they say you should drain the filter for at least uh, a gallon of water or so. So let me put this in here. Let me put that in there. And there we go, we've got water. I'm going to have to get the, the gas out of the line, or the air out of the line. So we'll keep draining it and uh, clearing out the filter. This is V from a Canadian RVer. Hope you've enjoyed this little video fix. Please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.